All right, guys. So this is a continuation of the S54 swap. All right. So up next, guys, I'm gonna remove this throttle mechanism and also this um, coolant line, coolant hose pipe, whatever it's called, and this fuel line, fuel hard fuel line, so I can get more bare block. All right. I'm gonna start with this hard fuel line. So first, I'm gonna remove is uh, one bolt here, one bolt right here, and then disconnect it from the fuel rail up there. Okay, so I took off this connecting, you can call it a rod, that connects from the throttle mechanism to the throttle bodies. So I'll, to take it off, it's just, uh, it's just seated in a ball, so you just have to just um, use a flathead and pry it off gently. Now I'm going to remove this whole thing, which is held on by, it looks like one, two, just looks like three, three bolts. One there, one there, one there. Then I'm also going to remove this um, coolant pipe, which is held on by a bolt there, a bolt there, and then it goes into the water pump or thermostat, whatever that is, and that'll just come right out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Alright, so this is before. All right, so I cleaned up the whole motor. So it looks way better than it did before. As you guys can see. Clean and mean, baby. Scrubbed it with some wire brushes and used some engine degreaser. Looks way better. So now I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna be replacing the gasket for the oil filter housing. So I'm gonna remove it right now. See what that looks like. Alright, so I reinstalled this throttle. What the fuck is this shit called? <laughs> okay, so I reinstalled the throttle body mechanism and the rod that connects to the. The fuck is this called? The throttle bodies? The throttle bodies, okay. Yeah. Okay, progress update, guys. So, as you can see, I got the AC compressor back on, cleaned it up a little bit. I put on a um, new pulley for the. The AC belt tensioner. I put on this um, Vanos pressure accumulator. I think I mentioned that already. For now, temporarily, put the line on. I'm gonna change the crush washers, like I said. What else? Let's see. Let's see. I mentioned this already. What didn't I mention? Okay. I don't know if I mentioned this, but okay. I reinstalled the, this return line that goes down to the oil pan from the valve cover. Day two. Here we are continuing the S54 swap. I got a bunch of stuff in the mail to so that I can continue putting this motor back together. So first I'll show you guys what I got. Alright guys, so I got basically a whole bunch of O-rings, washers, oil filter housing, gasket, secondary air pump uh, delete plate, a whole bunch of various O-rings for the sensors and for a whole bunch of things. Uh, and also, I got all these crush washers for the all the oil, ho oil pipes and oil hoses. 
So I get I can put it, I can start putting back together all the stuff I removed. Obviously, regular maintenance got MGK laser platinum spark plugs. I got two pulleys, belt idler pulley, belt tensioner pulley, and I got a, a used uh, water mount bracket because, as I showed you in the previous video, it was cracked. So this one came with the old um, mount, which I'm not going to use because mine are new. But it did come also with the ground cable, which I needed, so that's good. So I'm going to be replacing that. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is remove this old um, cracked bracket. You can't see right now, but I showed you guys in the previous video that it was cracked. And I'm going to reinstall it with this new one. Obviously, I'm going to remove this uh, old mount, so that's what I'm going to do first. So here's the previous, the broken one compared to the uh, new one I purchased. As you can see, they're identical except this one is uh, has the edge cracked off and this one is one piece. So I'm going to clean this new, uh, this new used one off and reinstall it onto the motor. Okay, so there's the new bracket cleaned up and reinstalled. I also um, reinst reinstalled this um, Vanos pressure accumulator with new crush washers. Next up, while I'm already here, I'm gonna install the secondary air pump lock off plate that I got right here, which comes with the gasket. So I'm gonna do that right now. And there's the block off plate with the new gasket installed. Next up, I'll install these two new crush washers for this oil pipe and also these two slightly smaller uh, copper crush washers for this one right here. Okay, up next I have a new O-ring to install for the crankshaft position sensor, which goes right here. And then after that I'll install these two green O-rings for the uh, camshaft position sensors for uh, both sides intake and exhaust. So those are these two. Okay, so the O-rings, new O-rings installed on the camshaft position sensor and both camshaft position sensors and the crankshaft position sensor. Now I'm gonna get back to this side and start reinstalling everything that I removed here. So next up I'm gonna reinstall this coolant pipe with new O-rings. Also got a new coolant pipe for this other uh, coolant hose. So new O-ring for this. I'm gonna reinstall that. Okay so here we go. Um, the two coolant pipes are installed with new O-rings. This one goes like this. And the other one that I showed you guys goes around here, so into the water pump, around the side, and bolts up right into there. And the other bolt is right, right there. So next up, I'm gonna reinstall the oil filter housing gas, uh, oil filter housing with the new gasket, which goes right here, which I taped off for painting the block, so it doesn't get any paint on it. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, reinstall that. Okay, so here's the gasket area cleaned out very nicely. Here's the new gasket. I'm about to put it in and then reinstall the whole housing. It's right now it's covered with tape, but I'm going to remove that. Make sure always if you're doing this is that the surfaces are clean and you're good. Okay, so there's the oil filter housing torqued down to spec. There's just six bolts going through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I taped off the the inlet for the hose for the oil um, oil cooler I believe for now so nothing gets in there okay now I'm gonna reinstall this I believe it's called the fuel inlet pipe back in somehow like this 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 side goes into the fuel rail and this side goes to the to the fuel filter so here's the new o-ring I'm gonna reinstall it with the new o-ring Okay, so guys, so I looked through the harness, checked for any damaged wires, everything seemed fine. I just taped up any uh, damaged plastic that holds the wires in place. So there's no exposed, unex so there's no exposed wires. And yeah, I think it's all good. I'm going to put it back in and connect what I can to the motor. Okay guys, so I got the most of the harness in. I connected whatever I could connect. And... Now that I got that and I could put in the idle control valve stuff and another wire is going to go into there. 
So that's just uh, two bolts, the two nuts right there, and that's gonna sit right there. All right, so I connected everything I can from the harness. Anything else will come later. I also put the idle control valve and the hoses. I, I mounted it to here. So that's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna continue uh, another day. Day. All right, guys. So it's another day. I'm gonna pull out the motor and we're gonna continue working on it. Okay guys, so here we are again. So I believe the last thing I did was reinstall the idle control valve. So I forgot to clean it, so I'm gonna remove it real quick and give it a nice clean with um, the auto body cleaner. Then I'll put that back. Then I'll continue reinstalling the parts from my parts bin. In the meantime, I'll just go through whatever parts, show you guys whatever parts I have laying around that I wanna put in today. So obviously the intake manifold, I'm going to put that in probably last when the motor is in already because it's going to be easier to use the hoist without the manifold in because I don't want to damage any of the this plastic, I don't want to damage the plastic so I'm going to reinstall the manifold once it, the motor is in the car. So this is what we got. So, uh, the other motor mount bracket, still didn't install, these are the bolts for that. Got the power steering pump, I'm gonna put that in today. The alternator. I got, this is the uh, ground cable. Uh, the tensioner, the I think the regular belt tensioner, the serpentine belt. Here we got some old bolts from the clutch. Probably don't need that. These are the header uh, studs and nuts. Probably gonna get new ones with the, when I get the new headers. What else do we got here? So fuel pressure regulator. Obviously, that's not going in yet. This is this is the heater um, heater core, I think that's what it's called, the heater core. So I'm probably gonna use the one that's in my car because this is an M3 one. It's a little different, but since I'm not changing any of the heating stuff, I'm gonna reuse the one that's in my car. This is the heat shield for one of the motor mount, uh, one of the motor mounts starter right there. Obviously, uh, and this is from a different car. This bracket, I'm also gonna. Oh, this is not for my car. My bad. Never mind. Not my car. Uh, and the pulley for the water pump. Everything else is not going to be... So basically just whatever is right here I'm going to install today. And... And I'm also going to install the new uh, pulleys. The tensioner pulley and the idler pulley. Okay, so I cleaned up the idle control valve with the auto body idle control valve cleaner. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is reinstall the alternator and the uh, new pulleys. All right, guys, what up? Quick update on the motor. Oh yeah, my name is Patrick. I'm taking over for now. What's up, dude? Come it's here. Anthony over here. Anthony. All right, so so far, actually. No, tell me what we did. All right, so far. All right, we, we we threw the alternator on. We we changed these pulleys real quick. The hydraulic. Um, Fuck, what is this? This is the is this AC, AC the, tensioner. The hydraulic AC tensioner. The regular idle tensioner. The pulley. Power, power steering power pump. Power steering pump went on. Put the water pump pulley back on. What else? And now we're about we're gonna put the motor mount brackets yeah, back this, into place. This other side of the motor mount bracket. That's and then after that, I don't know, we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right here. Oh, show you. gonna clean it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put it back on. Alright, we'll keep you guys posted. I don't have any lighters around here, man. Dangerous. Why we got? 
It's getting a little uh, chilly out here anyway. It's like fall or fire. The gasoline's a good cleaner. It should take most of the grime off. It, it does dissolve. Easy. It's pretty easy. Okay, update guys. So I cleaned up the motor mount bracket as much as I can with some gasoline and also the power steering bracket. Um, po um, not power steering. Power steering. Cut. <laughs> power steering uh, reservoir. And I reinstalled it, so that's where we're at right now, guys. Okay, guys. So I also installed this um, this hose that goes from the oil pan. I believe it's for the crankcase breather valve system, whatever. And that just uh, there's a bracket right here. It goes into the motor mount, so it goes around this way, like that. Uh, this uh, harness is gonna clip into here later. I'm missing a hose. Uh, a quick disconnect hose that's gonna go from here to the intake manifold I think right here so I have to get that and also yeah the purge valve also connected this is gonna attach to the to the intake manifold also and the bottom part there's also a quick disconnect right there that's gonna go into there so that's all settled so I'm just gonna have to buy a few hoses but yeah that's what I got so far done also, I'm gonna have to buy a new quick disconnect hose for the fuel uh, s fuel inlet it's coming from the coming from the what coming from the fuel filter. So the quick disconnect fitting coming from the fuel filter fuel pressure regulator into here. So I need that. And these are the starter connections. I'm not gonna put that in right now. I'm gonna do that all once the transmission's out, so it'll be simpler. Here's the uh, I'll connect it for the MAF that's also gonna be later. Also have to there was a plastic piece that went here. I'm gonna do that install that right now. Alright guys, so like I said I reinstalled this um, plastic piece, it's just three bolts, three nuts from the bottom. Just like a little cover for the for the throttle stuff and yeah I mean for now I'm I'm at a stop because I don't have any other parts but the motor's almost ready to go in. Just gotta buy small various hoses and then yeah I think this is gonna conclude the video. Alright guys I was definitely lying I was not gonna take over the whole video but that's it for today. We did everything we can. We're gonna order a few more parts. We need headers. What else we need? A bunch of hoses for like the oil separator stuff. Um, the pur purge valve. Uh, all the cooling hoses, power steering hoses, belts. I mean, the mo the motor's pretty much ready to go in. It just does small things like that. And that's it. That's it, man.